Welcome to another video. I never intended to make a video on this problem because I thought it was a pretty simple Algebra 1 problem. But looking at the answers that I got, I noticed that out of the about 3,500 people who answered the question, more than 2,000 people got it wrong. And that didn't seem like an easy problem, but it's super easy. So um, just to take care of that, let's get into the video. So the problem says that x plus 3, 3x plus 9, and 4x plus 13 plus other terms is an arithmetic sequence. What is the 19th term of the sequence? I was expecting that everyone who saw arithmetic sequence would know that every arithmetic sequence has a common difference. That's the defining property of an AP or an arithmetic progression. So if you look at this, there's a common difference, which means if you subtract this from this, you will get the same answer as if you subtract this from this. I think too much math caused people to think that the 19th term is going to be an expression in terms of x. But no, you cannot predict that. Okay, so what we do is we find the common difference. So we say common difference, that the common difference is the difference between consecutive terms, which is 3x plus 9 minus x plus 3. Okay, we know that this is going to be our common difference. Now that's one way to calculate it, or you can say it is the difference between the next two terms. You can also say that the common difference is 4x plus 13 minus 3x plus 9. That's another way to solve it. Okay? Or there's another fact. For any arithmetic sequence, the sum of adjacent terms is equal to twice the middle term. That's another way you can figure that out. And I think that's even faster. Well, we're going to get that from here. You'll see it. Okay, now, since this is the common difference and since this is the common difference, wait, let's get the answer to this. This is going to give us 3x minus x, which is 2x, and we have 9 minus 3, which is plus 6. Okay, let's see what this gives us. It's going to be 4x minus 3x, that's x, and then we're going to have 13 minus 9 is going to be plus 4. So, this and this are exactly the same thing because they both gave us the expressions for d. So, we can easily say that d is equal to 2x plus 6, and it's also equals to x plus 4. So from here, we can find an actual value for x. If you subtract this, you get 2x minus x equals 4 minus 6, which is equal to, um, which implies x is equal to, x equals what? Negative 2. So there's an actual value for negative 2, and you can go back here and see what the sequence actually is. Therefore, the sequence is, if you plug in negative 2 for x, it's going to be x minus 2, so that's going to be x, sorry, we have minus 2 plus 3 is the first term. This one is going to be 3 times negative 2 plus 9, and the third term is going to be 4 times negative 2 um, plus 13, and then other terms come in, so we have um, 1, this is going to be negative 6 plus 9 is 3, and this is going to be negative 8 plus 13, that's 5. So now, clearly the sequence that was disguised in this algebraic expression was 1, 3, 5. We know what the next term is. So easily, we know the first term, and we know the common difference to be... What's the common difference? Well, clearly the common difference is 2, not negative 2. This is just the value of x. So now that we have the sequence, we know that a sub 1 equals 1, the first term. The common difference equals 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. We can go here and plug it in. Negative 2 plus 4 is going to give you 2, which is the common difference. And now we can find a sub 19, which is the 19th term, using the formula for an arithmetic sequence.
a sub n equals a sub 1, the first term, plus the common difference multiplied by n minus 1. So, plugging in the numbers, what do you get? You get a sub 19 for the 19th term, which is what we're looking for, will be equal to a sub 1, which is 1, plus d, which is 2, times 19 minus 1. Our answer is 1 plus 2 times what is this? 18. This is equal to 1 plus 36, which is equal to 37. I know the options that I provided caused the question to, to look more complicated, but this is the correct answer. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.